toothpaste or shampoo. How come Jewin got tons of the stuff then? <laughs> Max has gone to heaven. There ain't no heaven, girl. All that banter yesterday from Dewing about us getting extra spends. That account program's got to disappear. Okay. And I don't want Babs here dropped in it. I thought we could like make up now, team. Being not finished with the gang and all. You finished Virginia. That's why I'm finished with you. I think she might be genuinely sorry now, Tina. Karen Betts is the one who deserves this job. I'm giving it up to her. I'll be back in uniform tomorrow. It's not your fault he was still born. He, he wasn't still born. He was still alive. Bridget Baldo. I was the Costa del Sol. Distant memory since I stepped back in here. Bring us back any nice prezzies? I brought back the satisfaction of knowing where Dockley met her watery end. My Bobby and I had a day trip to the very spot. Nice to have you back, Sylph. Since when have you been out of civvies? <sighs> since I quit being wing gov. Quit? Well, felt compromised, didn't I, as a manager, grailing at his so-called reforms. If you ask me, the likes of us will never be cut out for the top. All do good as soft in the head ninnies like Stuart. Neil's no soft yourself. Oh, hark a tear over there. Neil now, is it? Which side's your bread buttered? Answer number one. He's the one who makes her toast in the morning. Anyway, you're back in time to supervise another funeral service. Well, if it's an inmate, I'm happy. <laughs> Please be seated. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord giveth, and the Lord hath taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Now, if you'd all please join me in prayer. Ain't no one listening. I'd have thought you'd jump at the chance of your old job back. Usually I would. Look, I admit my judgment has been off in the past, but I need your help to put that right. The women deserve someone they respect, especially after Jim. Is Jim the problem? Transfer him somewhere else and I'll think about it. <laughs> you know the POA would be up in arms if I did that. You'd have the advantage of being his boss. Sorry, Neil. Maybe I just can't be bothered. Yes? There's two Home Office inspectors at the Gate Lodge, sir. They're here now. Now, before we end, I'd like to invite anyone who uh, wishes to share a few words to step forward. <coughs> Back 
Dexter was just a baby. All he ever done was needed loving and looking after. So why did he die when there's evil murderers and terrorists walking the streets? I tell you. It's because there ain't no justice. And there ain't no God. Right, Gordon, that's enough. Please, don't try and do something. I'll come up here to say something. Zulu receiving. Go ahead. You're wanted in the number one office. Love, love. Oh, oh. I've done enough urgent things to be doing. Come on, Crystal. We've been told we can speak. Look, this place killed Baxter with his cockroaches and his filth and his mould. You tell him, Crystal. Bloody disgrace. And his shit doctors and nurses. They put him in that box. Is it shit, old bastards? Look, we know you're upset. We all are. But you've had your say. Ain't no one telling me it's right. A baby dies in prison. Right. An inspection here today. That's why I need you, Sylvia, to be my new G-wing acting governor, with immediate effect. Oh, sir, I, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, I'm hoping you'll say you'd like the job. Well, if you think I'm up to it, sir... I have no doubt. Your commitment to the canteen privatisation proves that you've got something. Albeit your computer class was somewhat short-lived. Oh, only on account of the computers themselves dying on well, us, sir. Well, let's celebrate our canteen success. Get me a copy of the accounts to wave in front of them. I'll get straight on to it, sir. Right, uh, better go and greet them. I'll head them off around the other wings first. Make sure that G-Wing's got its best face on by lunchtime. Look at that numpty. She's gone soft in the head. Don't let it get to you. Crystal. You did great in there. Thanks. I'm so sorry, girl. For everything. You don't think it was my fault, do you? Maybe it was too much taking better to the park. Only I thought it was going to make him better. You made him better. Only time he ever smiled was when he was with you. In fact, he probably thought you were his mum. Oh, that's bollocks, man, isn't it, Crystal? You was a great mum to him. One day he's laughing, look. The next day he's in a box. You know what you told me about your own baby? What you talked to me about it, Buki? <laughs> like I killed Tuna, ain't it? First Lennox and now Baxter. Is that what you called him? Lennox? Only in my head. If you're sure he was alive when you left him, he still might be. How can a baby live in a public toilet, man? He's dead. Just like Baxter. King's Cross is a busy place, Buki. Chances are someone found him. Can you remember the exact date? <laughs> I was out my scum, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he would have been a Leo, though. I know that, cos... One of the girls, it was her birthday just before. <laughs> yeah, that's what she was. Why don't you get some lunch, eh? <laughs> 